everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me here today. My name is Emma and today I'm here with a video all about needles for hand sewing. This probably is my most requested video. I get asked it pretty much every day, what are my favourite types of needles and threads for English paper piecing, applique and other types of hand sewing. So this week's video is going to be about needles and next week I will talk about thread in detail. It can be really difficult, if you, especially if you're a beginner, to know which sorts of needles and threads do you need for hand sewing. There are so many different types, it can be quite confusing. So my aim today is to show you the different types that are available and to talk about their properties and talk about what makes them really good for this type of sewing, what makes them good for that type of sewing. Before we get into all of that, I just want to say I really believe that the right sort of needle and thread is such a personal choice. For me, when I'm sewing, it's all about how it feels. It has to feel right. So perhaps the things that feel right to me might not be what feels right to you. Over the last 18 months, I've tried a lot of different needles and a lot of different threads too, to find the combination that I really like. I know last year I found a really nice combination. I thought that was going to be the one that I stuck to, but then I discovered something new and I tried that and I really like that. So actually it's a bit of an evolving process, probably until I've tried every single needle and thread available. <laughs> I'm sure that's not going to happen, but you see what I mean, that it can change and it is such a personal choice. However, there are some things that make certain needles better for certain types of sewing. So I'm going to talk about that. So now that's out of the way, let's get started. So let's begin with needles. Before we talk about the different types of needle, let's talk about the quality of needles and the brand that you choose. I think it's really important to choose a quality needle. I'm showing you here some needles that came free with a magazine and actually they aren't smooth. There's lots of sharp, bumpy metal there that will catch on your fabric, catch on your thread. It will snag, pull, tear and rip. And you just won't get a nice, pleasant sewing experience and it could ruin your project. Therefore, it's important to choose a high quality needle. In terms of which brand should you choose, I think really all that matters is that you choose a good quality brand and there are so many out there. In fact, the majority of needles that you will pick up in the shops or online will be of a really good quality. So different types of needles have different names and those names apply to what the needle is designed to do, what job it is for. Needles are also categorized by numbers. Let's start with names. When doing my research for this video, I did find that the names of the different types of needles do vary ever so slightly between different brands. So I'm just going to try and keep it as general as possible, but do be aware of that. A typical needle that you may have come across, a really common one, is a sharps needle. Sharps needles are really great for general hand sewing and are particularly used in dressmaking, for example, if you were stitching a hem in place. As the name suggests, Sharps needles are sharp, they are fine, they have a small eye, so it makes them a really great cho choice for general sewing. Another really common type of needle is an applique needle, sometimes called an applique sharps needle. Applique needles are slightly longer, and I typically used to use applique sharps needles, these ones made by Clover, for English paper piecing. Because they were a bit longer, I found them quite comfortable to hold and they are sharp and fine and really good for working with fine lawn fabrics and for getting in between the layers of your fabric and paper. Of course, they are perfect for applique as well. That extra length just allows you to stretch across between the layers that you are stitching together. A 
lot of people use milliners, sometimes called straws, needles for English paper piecing. And I recently tried those myself and that is the needle that I gravitate towards at the moment. I really like the milliner's needles because they are sharp and fine as applique and sharps needles are, but they are much longer in length. I find this longer length needle to be much more comfortable to use. I have suffered with strain in my hands and wrists through so much hand sewing, so it's really important to choose a needle that is comfortable, and this is the one that I choose at the moment. Of course, it's also important to stretch and exercise your hands and take lots of regular breaks. A quilting or betweens needle is another needle that you may have seen and be wondering what is that used for. This needle again is fine and sharp, has a small eye, but it, it is much shorter in length. The idea is this shorter length needle is easier for sewing layers together for quilting by hand. So if you want to do some fine quilting, quite dense quilting with lots of short stitches using a fine thread, this could be a really good choice of needle for you. I like to do larger decorative hand quilting with embroidery thread, so I tend to use embroidery needles that are on the sharper end. We'll talk about those next. Embroidery needles or cruel needles are similar to sharps needles except they have a much longer eye and that makes it more suitable to thread because typically you use stranded cotton when you are doing embroidery or if you were doing cruel work you would use a fine woolen thread. Embroidery needles are the type that I use quite often when I am embroidering on the hexiform pieces because the sharp tip means I can get through those layers quite easily. Another needle that I like for embroidery is a chenille needle. Chenille needles are large and they have a sharp point and they have a large eye and I really like using them for embroidery. I find that they go through the fabric really nicely and they go through the layers really nicely when I embroider on the hexiform pieces. So they're a really good choice, a really strong needle, great for embroidery. Tapestry needles are designed to be used with thick woolen threads. They are large needles with a large eye and a rounded tip. Perfect for if you're doing a tent stitch project like on this open weave fabric here. Even if you're using a fabric like Ada with smaller holes, chenille or even the smaller tapestry needles can be great for this kind of project. So when you have established which type of needle that you want to use, it's now time to think about the size. And this is where the number system comes into play. In a nutshell, the larger the number, the finer or smaller the needle is. And the smaller the number, the bigger the needle is. Because that's not confusing, is it? For example, let's look at these applique sharps needles. The number nine needle in the packet is the one that I would typically use most often because it is longer. It's 34.9 millimeters long. The diameter of the needle is 0.53 millimeters and if we compare this to the number 12 in the pack which is 0.46 millimeters in diameter but the length is 28.8 millimeters so it is a shorter needle and this applies to all the different types of needles each type that we just discussed has different sizes 
and again the numbers refer to that so the smaller the number typically the bigger the needle if you are new to hand sewing i recommend you choose a needle that is longer and slightly thicker and that way you can get comfortable with it and get used to sewing and then when you want to refine your technique a little bit try moving down the scale and choosing a smaller finer needle the smaller the needle the smaller your stitches and the smaller the hole is going to be that you make in the fabric but as a beginner choosing a really small needle can be quite fiddly and frustrating so my recommendation would be start large and go down in size Thank you so much for watching this video about needles. I really hope that it was informative and useful. Next week I will be back to talk about threads and all the different types of threads that are available. So I hope to see you then. Thank you so much. Goodbye.